Hi my friend, welcome back to Miss Anita's reading class. I am so happy to have you here today. We are going to read another story. Before we read our story, let's revise how a good reader sounds like. Okay? What we do when we say a comma, we pause. When we see a full stop, what we do? We stop and take a breath. Exclamation mark. We add emotion in our voice. Question mark. We raise our voice at the end to make it sound like a question. Speech marks. We get into character voice. We lose the narrator voice and get into the character voice to suit the character that is speaking. Okay? All right. Story reading. Our story is Sam at the Chocolate Factory. Once upon a time in a chocolate factory far in space, there lived an astronaut named Sam. Sam loved going on exciting missions. One day, Sam got a secret message. It was a spy mission to the chocolate factory. Hmm. Sam got his space suit and helmet and set off for the adventure. Inside the chocolate factory, Sam sneaked past giant chocolate bars and rivers of chocolate. He searched for the secret spy clues hidden among the sweets. Sam found a clue hidden under a marshmallow mountain. It led him to a jelly bean jungle where he found another clue tucked behind a candy tree. Oh, I like this journey. First, he goes to a marshmallow mountain. What does that mean? A pile of marshmallows. The clue led him to a jelly bean, a jelly bean, a jelly bean jungle. Just imagine lots of jelly beans looking like a jungle. Whoa. Then that led him to another clue tucked behind a candy tree. Can you imagine a tree made of candy and having candy as its leaves and as its branches and as its stems and roots? Ha! Huh, I'd love to sit on such a tree. Okay. Following the clues, you hear the comma? Following the clues, Sam reached the heart of the factory. What do they mean by the heart of the factory? The center. The center of the chocolate factory. I'm assuming that's where all the chocolates, all the jelly beans, all the candies are being kept there. There he discovered the spy's plan to steal the chocolates. Oh, so the bad spy had planned to steal all the chocolate. Sam knew he had to stop the spy. Sam hung his space suit and tools in the middle of the factory to distract the spy. You know what distract means? Distract means to get somebody's attention. Now the spy is an evil person. He had, he had a big plan to take all the chocolate but you know what Sam did? Because he's very clever, he put the space suit, the fancy space suit, and all the other tools he uses for his space adventure in the middle of the chocolate factory. I'm assuming the spy had never seen such a thing. So he got all his attention from his plan to steal the chocolate to looking at or admiring the space suit. Mm, not so clever, all right? As the spy was busy admiring the space suit, Sam got back, Sam got back the stolen chocolate. All the factory workers were happy and thanked Sam for his smart action. The end. Did you like the story? Good. Who are the characters in this story? Sam the workers, and the spy, the bad spy. What's the setting? It's the chocolate factory. What was the problem in this, in this story? 
the spy wanted to steal all the chocolates, all the factory's chocolate. Okay, how was the problem solved? Sam distracted the spy and took back all the stolen chocolates. Wow, amazing. All right, now in your workbook, you are going to read which story? You are going to read the story called The Brave Detectives. Read this story two times and as you're reading, make sure that you pay attention to punctuation. Comma, you pause. Full stop, you stop and take a breath. Exclamation mark, you shout. Uh, question, you raise your voice at the end. Uh, uh, speech marks, you move into character voice to suit whoever is talking whoever is saying those words that are quoted all right pause the video and have a go at your reading task